The House Armed Services Committee is investigating the Obama administration's exchange of five Taliban leaders for Sergeant Bo Bergdahl's release. Committee members announced that move Monday following a meeting with senior administration officials about the deal. In that meeting, the administration showed lawmakers the 90-second proof-of-life video that showed a debilitated Bergdahl. But that did little to calm the anger on both sides of the political aisle. I think it's safe to say on both the Republican and Democrat side, people were extremely disappointed. They were underwhelmed at, at what was put forward. And also, I think there was a sense of anger that members of Congress didn't know about this. A State Department spokesperson says the deal was not a secret or a surprise to Congress. The Bergdahl family's former pastor is speaking out about the controversy surrounding his release and calling for mercy. Phil Proctor was, in, was interim pastor at the Bergdahl's church in Idaho. He is now the pastor of Sterling Presbyterian Church in Sterling, Virginia, and the Bergdahls stay with him when they visit D.C. Proctor told Christianity Today, these are brothers and sisters in Christ. We can have political views on whether Bo should be in prison or whether Bob should stay, say, Arabic version of Shalom. But to adopt the rhetoric of the day and use it to guide conversations among Christians about another self-professed Christian, I'm saddened by that. Proctor called on Christians to extend grace and to leave judgment to the courts.